Okay, so I have six favorite functions. Okay, really I have more than six, but for now we're just going to focus on these six. And when I say they're my favorites, what I really mean is I want them to be your favorites as well. So we will be able to just uh, do a quick sketch. We will be able to talk about a domain, a range, and maybe some intercepts. Because what we're going to do pretty soon is move these all around. So my six favorites. First one is the constant function. And that looks like f of x equals c, where c is some number. And its graph is just a horizontal line, right, someplace wherever c might be. The domain, all real numbers, and the range, ah, careful, it's just that one number, whatever that number might be. Second favorite function, the identity function. That one looks like this, f of x equals x. Okay. And really, I'm just talking about these really quick sketches. So f of x equals x, it looks kind of weird that way. Convince yourselves you know that it is that diagonal line through the origin, slope of 1. Also, oh, domain range, all real numbers for both of those, just so I don't forget. Third favorite, uh, squaring function, big fan. f of x equals, I know you've got it, x squared. Its graph, for a quick sketch, right, it's easiest for me if I start at the origin and draw the sides. It's a parabola, looks like a U. Domain, all real numbers. Range, be careful, if we look at our picture, we see the range is only 0 to infinity. Oh, you might be thinking about that, good job. Even, odd, or neither for these three that we've talked about so far. This guy here looks even to me, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Our line through the origin looks odd to me, a little rotational symmetry. Constant function, that one looks even, right? y-axis symmetry. Good. Okay, halfway done. Uh, constant, x to the first, x to the second. How about an x cubed? So my fourth favorite, cubing function. So f of x equals x cubed. Now this one, when I do this in class, I like to remind students of a game show. Well, the way, I think it's still on, but back in the olden days, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Vanna White used to have to walk from one side to the other, and when she got to the end of the row, she would do her arms. One kind of went up on the side and the other went down, kind of at a nice little graceful curve. And she would walk past the letter cubes, right? So that's how we can remember that one. So I will just call it Vanna sometimes. I mean the x cubed graph. The domain, hey, the domain is, again, all real numbers. The range, if we look at the picture, looks to be the same. Okay, four of my favorite, oh, even odd neither? Yep, odd. Rotational symmetry again. Or fold it twice and see the sides match up. Okay, two more. I also am a super big fan of the, is this five, absolute value function. So remember the symbols for absolute value, those vertical bars. We would read this f of x equals the absolute value of x. And this one looks like a V, V for the value. Domain, range, yep, all real numbers. And for the range, zero to infinity, absolute values only spit out positive things. Okay, my last favorite is the square root function. Uh, 
f of x equals the square root of x. And its graph looks just, it's over here in quadrant one only. And there's its basic shape. Domain, range, uh, oh, domain, it's not all real numbers this time. This time it looks like we're only going zero to infinity. And the range looks to be the same, quadrant one only. Okay, so make sure you know these six favorites because the next thing we're going to do is rotate these guys all around.